Now you have logged into Smart Science and you're ready to start the student experience. This is also great for teachers who want to preview labs and try them for themselves. So I've logged in and I'm just going to pick the first lab by clicking on it. Once you enter the labs, be sure to follow the instructions on the screen. For example, here the guide bubble with a scientist here is telling me to enter my first lesson. I'm going to press a play button to watch a theme video. So let's press that button. I just muted the video here so it doesn't bother us with sound, but essentially two to three minutes, you're going to watch a mini lecture about this topic and it teaches you a little about how to navigate smart science. Once you're finished watching this video, the guide will tell you to read text to the right and answer some warm up questions. Once you're finished with those, press submit, press yes to confirm, review your answers, press the next button to get into the lab. Labs consist of picking a hypothesis you'd like to test. Again, follow that guide. It'll tell you what to do. Once you've accepted the hypothesis, pick from videos on the right and play the videos with the play button in the middle at the bottom. And for each video that you watch, you're going to do some measuring. These videos are actually experiments and the measuring will get you data to try to support your hypothesis. Let's do just a couple of these videos really quickly so that we can move on to the next stage. You will notice at the top of each lesson is the theme of the lab. In this case, how does speed affect graph slope? And at the bottom of the lesson is the 5e lesson structure. So we are currently doing explore. And if we do enough data, we can move on to evaluate. Let's do one more video and get to that evaluate. Notice I'm just very quickly creating my graphs with a few points and looking at that summary graph, press evaluate, answer your post lab questions, press submit, check out your results, press next, and then press explain to write your lab report. Write in the boxes and when you get to the bottom, submit that to your teacher and you're done. Most online and traditional schools with smart science We'll now have the student press this PDF button to create a PDF of the lab report so that can be put into the learning management system in the assignment folder. The next video will cover how to do that, but we thank you for learning how to use the student experience of smart science.